Stu does idiots gluing themselves to things. Yes, let's hop over to the exotic uh, locale of Milan in Italy and see what idiots are gluing themselves to things there. Oh yeah, it's a BMW, hand painted by Andy Warhol himself in 1979. And a bunch of dopey environmentalist extremists have covered it with flour. A truly devastating attack that makes me think to myself, does nobody remember the post 9-11 anthrax attacks anymore? I mean, it seems uh, like a good way to get yourself shot by a security guard who's had mail duties, uh, mail screening duties too many times. But I do know what you're thinking, of course. Stu, those idiots didn't glue themselves to anything. Why are they involved in this incredible segment that you do so often? Well, I'm glad you asked. Keep your attention on the bottom left. Mm -hmm. See, and someone is doing, what are they doing? There it is, hand meets glue, glue meets floor. But like a true look rookie has not considered their future bathroom options. Oh no, here's the problem. I don't think they quite, quite thought this out uh, well enough because she had to clear the flour away just so that, that she just dumped on the car so she could glue herself to the floor. And why would she have to clear the flour away? Well, I think that's obvious. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the problem is you can't, you can't glue yourself to flour. I mean, you can glue yourself to flour, but it's not going to stick to the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, hit the end game stages of liberal idiocy. That dude lifted her sad carcass off the floor like she wasn't even remotely glued to anything because, of course, she wasn't. That's not how glue or flour works. Now, surely this was the end of this embarrassing display, right? No. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again to glue your body to a surface that has been covered in a thick layer of baking ingredients. The video ends before we really see the end of this, but we can only assume somebody 300 style kicked her ass off the gallery floor shortly thereafter. Why? Why do these idiots continue to perform incoherent acts of terrorism while attempting to spread a message that's just as incoherent as their protests? I'm sure the TikTok likes are pouring in, of course, but one of these days, someone might actually cause some damage to a priceless work of art. Probably not anytime soon, judging by their recent efforts, but everyone gets lucky sometimes and I'm worried. And how the hell are these people continuing to smuggle in bags of groceries? I don't... Step it up, security. Your generic international museum security team. Step it up. And to the environmentally obsessed losers of the world, I, I beg you, please, please, just go back to eating Tide Pods. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.